What's up you guys? I am going to talk about how my husband and I met today and how love at first sight does exist and how God seems to bless me every time I feel like giving up. He always blesses me with something so incredible and something to motivate me to keep going. Um, I'm going to start when I moved to Arizona. It was right after beauty school. I'd say 2017, I decided to pack a suitcase and $100 to my name, and I decided to move to Arizona with my best friend. That's where she was going to college at ASU, and I just wanted something new. I wanted to find adventure. I was going through that phase in life where you just wanted to be yourself, and you wanted to find, you know, what you were into, and do things for your career so basically i ended up moving in i bummed i guess for a while at her house um slept on her bed slept on her couch um we had the best time we hung out every single day we did best friend things you know lived the life for the for the next year we basically i worked and she went to school and we decided it'd be best to move out of her parents' house into our own apartment. And so that's when we found an apartment in Flagstaff, Arizona, and we moved there. Um, things were going so well. I found an amazing job at this little spa. You guys should go there if you're ever in Flagstaff. It's called Spa Teak. It's really close to downtown. I forget what the street's called, but very worth going. And basically I worked there, fell in love with my career, fell in love with every aspect of it and um, basically was on fire with my life. Um, of course, I was dating a lot of people, you know, going on dates and um, just figuring out my type, what kind of future I wanted. And I ended up finding this man um, and we ended up meeting, I think it was at a party and we started talking and talking and talking and we ended up hanging out more. I went to his house and he had reptiles and I'm a weirdo, I really enjoy reptiles. And basically for the next three months we dated and the next three months seemed like a lifetime to me because things escalated so quickly with us and I'm not gonna go into major detail, but um, basically, things became emotionally and physically abusive in that relationship and I feel like things were not how they should be. I started feeling internally that I shouldn't be in this position, that I shouldn't be with this person and so um, as I was being cheated on, lied to, um, you know, used, I felt like it was time to get out. So. Long story short, I ended up leaving the situation and I moved back home to Troy, Montana. And this had to have been the spring of 2018, I think May-ish. And I remember being really, really depressed, really just upset about everything happening, everything that had gone wrong in my life, everything I have built up in the past year and a half had just fallen down right on me and if you know anything about being young which I think everyone does you do end up coming home a few times and that's just how things go and it was just a very rock bottom moment for me I didn't want to be anywhere but in my bed and that's where I laid all the time and basically um at the time my stepdad had this construction job and he was doing little projects here and there around town he's a insurance adjuster so every time there's like a hurricane he ends up leaving for I guess like five to eight months at a time and he will go do those claims where the hurricanes happen but there's an off season where he's kind of just sticking around home and he does little projects here and there just to stay busy and he hires people well he ended up hiring um this guy and this guy was helping him build like this deck and I remember every time I'd go bring like Gatorades to my dad, I'd always look at him and think how cute this like worker of him was. He'd be like on the roof, like working on the roof. And I don't know, I just always felt that there was something special about him and never got to meet him in person, not for a while. And I just remember 
I was so alone and my stepdad's like, hey, like you should just like meet this guy. He's working for me and he also is new to town. So like you guys would make good friends. And I got kind of weird about it cause I'm like, oh my gosh, people like people always trying to set me up and like relationship is not something I need right now. And I just felt really standoffish. And basically I ended up um, not doing anything for a while. Like with that idea, it actually made me want to just become more shy, you know, cause I'm that personality where I just get really shy. But basically I ended up seeing him at church one day. And if you are a church goer, it's a huge, huge turn on to see someone at church <laughs> that you like, if you already like them or if you find them attractive, it makes them like 10 times more attractive if you're into that. And I basically was like, oh my gosh, I do want to talk to him like this has, has to be something like if I feel butterflies and I feel different about this person I haven't even met them like there's got to be something even if they're just my friend well I ended up meeting him and I find out you know he's a therapist which is crazy um because I'm like such a mentally ill person that I I don't think I always thought nobody could handle me which I still question that I'm like we'll see but I feel like being mentally ill is really, really, really hard for someone to love a mentally ill person. Um, if you're depressed, if you have anxiety all the time, if you're bipolar or if you have um, schizophrenia or some form of autism, it is really, really hard for someone to understand that. And so me knowing that there's something going on with me, it was really hard for me to accept the love, to accept people. Um, so. I ended up meeting him. We all went on a 10 mile hike. It was crazy. And we all hit it off as a family. It wasn't even a date really. It was like a family outing. And um, from that day on, we never stopped hanging out, you guys, never. Like we literally, like we went on another hike the next day. And then the next day we went to dinner, but like we never stopped hanging out. It was summer and he actually stopped working for my stepdad because he was so busy hanging out with me. He was like spending every waking minute with me and we'd hang out till like 1 a.m. in the morning and it was like just the cutest thing. And that's how I know that God blessed me because at that moment, in my lowest moments in life, I was like, I don't know what I want right now or what I need, but I need some guidance. I need something in my life to let me know that there is meaning that there is someone out there that that's not there to hurt me, that's not there to put me through hell because that's what every single relationship in my life has put me through is just pure hell. And three years later, we're still hanging out. We got married two months after meeting, literally one month after meeting, we got engaged. And then a month later, we tied the knot. We went to the courthouse, signed the papers, did our little kiss and we went off with our day. And here we are, three years later with a one-year-old and both of us still working hard on our careers, me still working hard on my mental health and him just being the best husband in the world. It's been one of the biggest blessings that I could ever ask for in my life to know that there's family out there, whether it's a spouse or if it's just a best friend who's always going to be there for you like I had. I just know that there's really just exciting things out there for you and I really enjoy talking about my experiences because I know that I've been through the highest highs and the lowest lows and knowing that I'm still here to this day making this video right before work being all cute all dressed up feeling confident I know that it's worth every every bit of trauma every bit of hurt that I've been through and I hope that everyone watching the, this video can understand that about their life too. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening to my story. Um, thank you for being patient during my introduction vlogs to my YouTube channel. I'm just kind of giving you an idea about who I am and who my family is. So if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and look out for the next video.